What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more AFK Journey, and today we're talking about artifacts. Are you even using the correct artifact for the situation, and how do you unlock them? Because you'll find very quickly you unlock them through the story mode, some of them are a little more time-gated, while others you get instantly. But just remember, all of them are possible to get completely free to play, However, there are ways to get them quicker if you do decide to spend just a little bit. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Hit that subscribe button. Let's talk about artifacts. So artifacts are something you are introduced to very, very early in on the game. And this is essentially what your character is doing in combat. You have this little medallion thing that is going to power up your team. An Awakening spell is going to be the first one you receive. This one is a very solid, well-rounded artifact. However, besides like, oh man, like the Dragon Dream Realm, things like that, you're mostly going to stay away from this one. Awakening is really good on that one and whenever you need to provide healing because it has attack, physical defense, magic defense. However, it's not the end-all, be-all answer. And me personally, out of the ones that we've already unlocked, Iron One Wall Spell is actually really, really good. It gives your team haste and vitality, but this part is really important. If you have your front row tank and he can't even survive long enough with the heal from Awakening Spell and all your allies, a good way to get and buy time is to slap on Iron Wall Spell because it says, blesses the frontmost allied hero at the start of battle, increasing their physical defense and magical defense by 15% and energy on hit by 20 for the rest of the battle. So depending on who your tank is, that extra energy might help them get to an ultimate much faster like a Lucius or something or in Tandra that'll help them stay alive. A little less useful for like a Thorn or something, but still very good because it says at the start of the battle and every 12 seconds after, grants the blessed ally a shield equal to 20% of their maximum HP. That extra 20% is huge because yes, this can heal allies for 7%, but if it goes off while they're not needing the heal technically, it doesn't work, and all those fun things. Beyond that, the ratio of gained physical defense and magic defense is increased to 20, and further on, it gets even better. It transfers to another hero. So that was one thing I noticed instantly in combat. If my frontline tank, my Thorin, was dying with Awakening Spell, I switched it to Iron One Wall Spell, and it made almost the battle a cakewalk because at least for my team, with the way that I've built my team, I only have one tank. If that tank goes down, I basically lose. So my whole goal is to keep that tank alive to give time to, say, Cessia to get her ability off with her ultimate and buy more time. So those are the base two that you will see. However, there's also Enlightening Spell. This one increases attack speed and HP for your team at the beginning of the battle. The attack speed of the one rearmost ally, so if you put like Odie in the back or Sessie in the back, they're going to attack very fast. Uh, increase it by 80 for 50 se 15 seconds. While the skill takes effect, the buffed allied hero gains control immunity. So this is really good also in PvP or even certain campaign uh, levels where you know your hero is going to get locked down. Very good. And then as you go higher, unlocks more attack speed, uh, increases the duration. And honestly, the fact that this is a counter to one of the later uh, items, Confining Spell is really good because like we said, gives them control immunity. Well, the Confining Spell is the next one we're going to talk about. Please remember, you can purchase these, but they are all 100% unlockable by story. They're just going to be gated a little bit by time. If you are someone who is spending, I highly recommend getting Confining Echo uh, immediately. Immediately. And you can get both of the other ones that have yet to be unlocked right here. Uh, we're going to get the Artifact Bundle 2 and unlock it and show it off. Technically, you can also get Blazing Echo, but Blazing Echo isn't really like... It's not really needed anywhere per se. Uh, we'll talk about this one before going to confining because it's one of my favorites. Blazing spell has defense penetration, physical defense, magic defense. It basically shoots a fireball at the weakest enemy every five seconds. Deals damage equal to the percentage of your team's attack. Increases it, all that fun stuff. It just turns out to not be like anything great. Maybe, just maybe on the boss we're on right now, uh, which is the... Uh, Snow Stomper, it might be worthwhile on him, 
but just keep that in mind it probably won't now back to the artifacts here because we now have this confining spell we're going to activate it ourselves and get it leveled up because this is going to be probably one of the best artifacts you have access to uh now i think this one unlocks like next chapter like chapter three or something like that is definitely not in this chapter and we actually have a ways to upgrade this even further which is nice and then we get locked behind the resonance but this gives attack and hp so really amazing baseline stats right there very well rounded beyond that three seconds into battle deals magic damage equal to 25 percent of the team's attack to two enemies in the back every 12 seconds making them unable to move or act for 1.5 seconds so essentially like a stun the prison duration increases at five and then further down the road the cooldown of the ability is reduced by 10 seconds so it gets really insane so this one's really good because you're able to lock down the enemies in the back which honestly gives better survivability in most cases to iron wall spell and awakening spell however you're mainly going to be using the confining spell uh pretty much in pvp scenarios in campaign scenarios uh you're not going to be using it on the bosses though this is the one you're not going to use on any bosses whatsoever uh but like i said enlightening spell which you get very early on is a very nice counter to those enemies that have confining spell in pvp because well one of those heroes is going to have control immunity so this effect will not take place they'll still take damage but they won't be affected by it uh we talked about the blazing spell honestly i mean at this point for the sake of this i should probably just yeah you know what we get some other stuff with it too we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and take it activate the blazing spell as well so that we have all of them uh i will test it out today and see if it actually is good against the snow boss here uh it could be because healing doesn't do too much the tank one the speed one none of them really do too much so we'll have to see how it turns out man we are actually hurting for gold at this point which is crazy let's move on to the last one star shard spell so from what i've heard from those that are further than me in the campaign is that it is unlocked when you go to unlock dark forest uh seven we are about to go into six but it sounds like when you're going from in six to seven or maybe it's at the end of seven is when you're going to get it so for most players it's going to take a little bit but again a once another one that's completely free uh haste and hp when you unlock it every four times an allied hero casts their ultimate a flame wave is unleashed on all enemies the flame wave deals true damage which is amazing equal to 16 percent of the current uh, target's current hp and up to 60 percent of the team's attack the flame wave is also reducing the target's attack speed by 60 uh increases the damage and uh cap and everything and then it only takes three ultimates to trigger so eventually star shard spell is going to be the one you want to go for uh but in the meantime confining spell uh is going to be a little bit time gated even more i th i think you basically get what you get awakening spell then you get enlightenment then you get iron wall spell then you get star spell and then i think it's one of these two after that is going to take a little bit of time so just be prepared it's going to take a little bit to get all of these but that is the breakdown of artifacts again if you are in the early game and awakening spell just isn't working for you make sure your tanks in the front iron wall spell it might do you wonders hopefully you guys enjoy this one make sure you guys take one second hit that subscribe button i'll see you guys next time